Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, what is it that makes a moral action moral? In a comment some time ago, someone accused me of saying two conflicting things. First, that moral values can't be objective without the existence of a morally perfect being, which is what is traditionally referred to by the word God. Then at a later time, I said that the morality of an act lies in the act itself. The question would be, is the morality of an action based on what kind of action it is, or on God? This is actually quite a good question. You see, God's morally perfect nature is what makes moral actions moral and immoral actions immoral. Actions are only good or bad by comparison to God. Actions are good in the sense that they're closer to being like God and bad in the sense of being less like him. However, God's nature is timeless and unchanging. Therefore, so are moral values. For this reason, the morality of an action may be based on the nature of God, and yet certain actions are always bad or always good. When it's rightly said that the morality of an action resides within the act, what that means is that certain actions always have certain moral characters associated with them. However, it's ultimately still God's nature which makes those actions what they are morally. Next. Did the Old Testament law really force women to marry their rapists? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.